What made you decide, you know what, I'm going to do abortions? Somebody once said, when you wrestle with your conscience and you lose, you actually win. And for me, um, that wrestling with conscience started about 14 years ago. What up, everybody? Welcome back to one more video. Um, we're going to do a video, uh, another reaction to my man, Jesse Lee Peterson. And this time, he's interviewing a doctor. And this doctor is a gynecologist who is uh, who performs abortions. And this doctor also is a um, claimed uh, non-believer. Uh, he's a claim. He claims that he is a... Uh, a Christian, a believer in Jesus Christ, but at the same time, he performs abortion. So we're going to take a look at this and see how this interview goes. All right. Okay, guys, watch this. Welcome to the Fall Estate. I'm Jesse Lee Peterson. Abortion is still one of the most divisive issues in America today. I have with me Dr. Willie Parker an OBGYN specializing in abortions. He's also the author of Life's Work, A Moral Argument for Choice. Dr. Parker has been featured in Esquire, NPR, New York Times, Rolling Stone, Newsweek, and more. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. What made you decide, you know what? I'm gonna do abortions. Somebody once said, when you wrestle with your conscience and you lose, you actually win. And for me, uh, that wrestling with conscience started about 14 years ago. The reality is that one in three women in this country by the time they're age 45 will have an abortion. Amazing. And it's the most common uh, health care procedure that is offered. It's also one of the safest, but it's also one of the most controversial because it is a decision that is unique to women. My awareness as a physician. Okay, I am not going to stop the video uh, a lot, okay, I promise. But he just said that having an abortion is one of the safest procedures that a woman can have. Um, okay. What do you guys think about that? Is having um, women, y'all chime in and reply to this, uh, this video or comment on this video. Is having an abortion one of the safest, safest procedures that a woman can have? All right. So. What happens to women when that care is not available uh, convicted me around uh, what it meant to be a woman's health care provider and to be a Christian, which ultimately led me to conclude that there was nothing He's a Christian. doctrinally or specific about abortion in sacred texts, whichever one you're talking about. So what Bible is he reading? Nor was there anything that prohibited women from having control over their lives and their bodies to make the same decisions that men are entitled to make. As I know what it is. Thou shalt not kill. All right. I'm, 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 I'm going to let it go moral agents. That's amazing. Um, how is abortion a health care procedure? So when uh, a woman has a pregnancy that uh, affects her health or that she decides to end, if she doesn't have an opportunity to end it safely, anything that risks or ends your, uh, that uh, poses a risk to your health is a health care issue. Uh, but it's not a health care issue for, I mean, it's a health care issue for the baby, the unborn child, and that you're killing the baby. So I don't know how that is a health care issue for the child. Well, you, you know, the, so one of the things that when people describe abortion that way, uh, the way no I look way. at uh, of calling abortion murder or they call a developing pregnancy a baby, what they're telling me is that they have a certain understanding about what a baby is or about what they think health care is. If we're going to be precise in our language, baby is a cultural term. It's not a scientific or a medical term. And before you're not a baby before you're born. You're entitled to say that you don't believe that women should have abortions. So if you're not a baby before you are born, then what are you? But because of our laws, you're not entitled to block a woman from having an abortion, and you're not entitled to force a woman to agree with your but definition. Aren't you taking a life inside uh, that? The womb, aren't you taking I a am life? Actually, actually, a pregnancy, when you do an abortion, yes, a pregnancy does end a life. So but you, does it so end a person? Are, so you are. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, yes, a pregnancy ends a life, but does it end a person? 
So it's all about perspective. It's all about how they see things and how people see things. So, and that's what makes it easier for people to take the life of an unborn child. And they should, even as a person who has gone to war and been deployed three, three different times to Iraq. All right. So in order for you, in order for a person to, um, um, easily take the life of another person. They have to dehumanize that person first because subconsciously and consciously your mind will fight against you taking the life of another person. So what you have to do is dehumanize that person and then you don't see them as humans anymore, which makes it easier to take the life. Born child, if you're taking a life, you're not taking the life of an animal. You're not taking the life of the woman, so you're taking the life of a child. Your, isn't, that, isn't that right? I, uh, I disagree with you. I but understand you are what you're killing, saying. You are killing an unborn child, right? Uh, I'm not killing an unborn child. You're taking I'm the life a of pregnancy. an unborn child. I'm ending a pregnancy. But does that require you to take the life of the child that's in the woman's womb? I don't define a pregnancy as a child. And I'm, like does I said, it have a life? Uh, is it a living? See what I just told you? The, it all, it's all about perception. He says, I do, I do not define um, a, a pregnancy as taking the life of an unborn child. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I know I'm stopping, I, I'm passionate about this particular topic because I believe, as a believer, I believe that we are formed in the womb. And, and even before that, God says, before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. Before you were even formed in your mother's womb, God said, I knew thee. And there's many scriptures in the Bible that talks about not taking the life of an unborn child. So... Uh, with that being said, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to dive to let, allow this video to play. Um, um, we're not going to do a reaction to the whole video. I'm going to do portions, a portion of it, maybe ten minutes of it, and then I'm going to put the link down in the description. You guys can go ahead and take a look at the full video. It is a living entity. It right. is a life. It so is a human being because women don't have puppies. Sure. But it is not a baby. And if it were a baby, hold on. How could it be a human being? He just said it. It's a human being, but it's not a baby. So <laughs> to take the life of, of another human being means that you are committing murder. He even, he even validated his own statement. He confirmed his own statement when he said that the, it's not a baby, but it's still a human being. So what's the difference? It's a, it's a living soul. It's a person that's living on the inside of another person. It's still a person. Okay. It would be a person, correct? So the reality well, let, me, is, let me finish. So the reality let, is you are taking a life. So do, do, do you want to have a dialogue yeah, or do you want, you want to, let, you want to let me ask, answer your question or do you want to answer my question? Answer the question about okay. are you taking a life? Okay. Yes. An abortion ends a life. Now, mm -hmm. What I asked you was, <laughs> you're saying a pregnancy is a baby, right? It's an unborn child. It's an unborn child, okay. Yes. So if I kill a child, that's murder, right? Right. You mean one that's If I kill a child, yes. you say, okay. So if I'm killing a child, if I'm doing an abortion in an abortion clinic, if you call the police, will they come and arrest me? See, that's a straw man argument. That is that is conflating two different ideas. Just because it is legal... In our laws doesn't mean that it is right. Just because it is legal doesn't mean that God is for it. So don't get that twisted, man. They won't because Why? of the law. Why? But that still what doesn't does take the law away. Say? That still doesn't take away the his fact other justification. And we both agree that you are taking a life. Correct. Right? Do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? No. <laughs> you do not. And I why know. not? Here you go. I think that uh, it requires a biblical literalism. And it requires an understanding that says that everybody is immoral and that they have to be redeemed in some way. I have a different understanding and a different significance of what the life of Jesus Christ meant. It just you went down. South, you were a Christian. Absolutely. And Absolutely. you believe at one point that we were in a fallen state due to sin and we needed to repent I had and overcome that. Understanding, that. Yes. What changed your mind about that? What changed my that? mind is yes. I understand that the Bible is a sacred text and that I don't approach the Bible literally as the word of God. There have been too many translations. So you're not a Christian. No. Do you speak Hebrew? You can't be a believer. If you don't, if, of course, there, there are symbolisms in the Bible. There are, there are pictures in the Bible that, paint, that there are, there are terms uh, as they call dark sayings or riddles or uh, proverbs and uh, that, that are spoken to paint a picture. And yes, there, like I said, there are symbolisms in the Bible, but it is the word of God. 
it is the word of God. If you don't take the word of God literally, then you have to question whether or not you are a believer. Don't. Do you speak Greek? I don't. Those were the original texts of the Bible, right? Right. The Bible's been translated into English, right? Right. You can have different versions, even in English, there are different translations. That doesn't mean that the Bible's not significant as sacred text, but it means do you have to approach the Bible as being literally true? I so, don't. So you grew up in Alabama. So you don't believe in truth. You that one time that we were sinners who need to repent. Absolutely. What in the Bible did you read that said to you, no, that's not true? Okay. Did you read something in the Bible that changed your mind? No, or you it was just how I chose to read the Bible that changed. And how and did so you choose? The Bible as a, as a text can't reference itself. So you decide that I'm going to read the Bible and change my mind that we are in a fallen state? That's a lie. The Bible as a text does reference itself. And the Bible references that all scriptures are inspired by God. That is the only reference that you need as a believer. If all scriptures are inspired by God, they're good for reproof, they're good for correction, they're good for instruction. All scripture, and it said that few scriptures, some scriptures, one or two scriptures here and there, it says that all scriptures are inspired by God. I decided that I was going to read the Bible and decide how does the Bible speak to me and how does this Bible speak to us today and so that it has relevance to us today. The Bible doesn't speak about uh, traffic on the 405, right? Not that I'm No, aware. right. So how I behave on the 405 can be derived about what principles I say the Bible teaches me in terms of how I should interact with other people, right? But what, I'm not getting what was it. How did you make up your mind and what was not in the Bible that confirmed what you thought about the fallen state and about sin? Is there, can you cite me one thing that said you're not a sinner or you're not in a fallen state? Was there something specific in the Bible that told you that? Oh, uh, no, no. So you just but, made up your own mind no, about no. that? Well, uh, in accordance to Romans 12, you're absolutely right. I did make up my own mind where Paul said that every person needs to be persuaded in their own mind. If you may recall in the Bible, in the book of Romans, where people in the church were bickering about whether or not you literally should eat meat or herbs, Paul said, People uh, are, you interpret the Bible according to being fully persuaded in your own mind. Is it That's possible how I you believe. could be wrong now? And yes, it is. Oh, okay. is. Is it possible that you could be wrong? No, absolutely okay, not. Okay, so, there, so that's where we differ. You can't imagine how you can possibly be wrong, and I question myself all the time. Voltaire I said would, that. I would if I were you. I, I, and and, <laughs> and if, you, if I were you, I would question myself too. Let me do this. Have you ever changed your mind about anything? I have. Okay. And why don't, <laughs> but, that's why I said but in that order you for you to change your mind, it. you have to think about their other possibilities, right? I'm, I'm gl that's why I'm glad that you're at least thinking about what the way you feel about right. Christianity and abortion now and sin and all that, because you are wrong. And by you thinking about it, maybe you get back on the right track. Let what me, let me, let me say to you, I'm absolutely comfortable with the fact that you think I'm wrong. And now All right, y'all. I'm going to end it right there and uh, let you guys go ahead and click on the link in the description for the full video. Um, um, please look at the full video because Jesse does. Um, he does what Jesse do. He put him in the blender and had him all stirred up, as I say. All right. So, again, um, please like and subscribe uh youtube algorithm shows that only about uh six i'm let me go back so it shows that 90 percent of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed so do me a favor just subscribe uh it, it won't hurt just do it it'll help me out though a lot because i'm trying to build a channel and i'm trying to get the truth out there just like it just like all i mean just like uh, uh other youtubers that, uh, like myself so please hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel and, and there will be more content like this uh, that's coming your way. All right, be good. And until next time, YouTube, peace.